What is going on everyone? Andrew here again with TRP Exclusive, and today I want to talk about the upcoming excitement that is this weekend in track and field. We have a lot of various NCAA competitions going on this Friday and this Saturday from the Tiger Paw Invitational in Clemson and also the Tyson Invitational in Arkansas. But really, I think most people have their eyes set on the Milrose Games in New York City. Now, every single season, this is far and away one of the biggest events during the indoor campaign. You get some of the best distance runners in the world. You get some of the best sprinters in the world. And I wanted to go through a few of those events today because these are very hyped and I'm very excited about watching the new talent come in. And there's also one event that I want to focus on in particular, but before before we get to that, I want to look at the men's 60 meter dash because we have Noah Lyles returning after a monstrous performance in the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix where he took down Trayvon Bromel in 6.51 and he will be clashing against not just his brother Josephus, who actually beat him earlier this year, but also Christian Coleman, the world record holder in this event. Now, Lyles is coming into this competition with a lot of momentum. He was undefeated last year in the 200, and so far he's running extraordinarily well in the 60 meter dash. And there's a few points that I want to get to when it comes to his 60 meter performance. If we go back to that New Balance Indoor Grand Prix, we can actually see him get to a very, very fast point of acceleration towards the very end of the race. And I believe he crossed the final 10 meters in 0.84 seconds which for a 60 meter dash is just crazy fast acceleration. So definitely keep your eyes on him. And of course we have the Wanamaker Mile, one of the biggest mile events of not just the indoor year, but the outdoor year as well. In this field, we have Mario Garcia Romo from Spain, Yuri Nagus coming off his American record in the 3000. We've got Elliot Kipsang, Josh Thompson. We have Ali Hoare, who's the defending champion at three minutes and 50 seconds. This is guaranteed to be a barn burner. I'm very excited to see who ultimately comes out on top. Part of me thinks that Cole Hawker, looking good in last year's cross country season towards the end, is gonna come back in top form right here. But Ollie Hoare just looked so good last year beating Josh Kerr. Uh, I think he's gotta be the favorite coming in and he very well could break 350. But here's the race where I'm really, really excited about. It's the women's 3000 because we have a clash, a big clash of not just Caitlin Tui, but we also have Caitlin Tui running against Alicia Monson and also Elise Cranny. Now, if you don't know, Caitlin Tui broke the collegiate record in the one mile run. About two weeks ago, she ran this time on January 28th. And for this event, she ran a 424.26, the first collegiate ever to break 425. Now, Caitlin Tui clearly has the strength as she was last year's cross country champion, but to go down to the mile and break the collegiate record at 424.26 is a huge step in the right direction making her one of the most complete distance runners in the United States right now. And I think Alicia Monson has to be the favorite here. She looked very balanced in that mile that she ran two weeks ago at 423. But to get back to Caitlin Tui, I think that she very much has the ability to break the collegiate record in this event as well, which currently stands by, I believe it's Carisha Schweitzer, it is, at 841.6. And she set that time in 2018, which is pretty recent. And at the moment, Tui's personal record in this event stands at 854. So she does have a fast time, which is just under nine minutes. But I think with her mile and cross country combination, she is going to be a real threat to attack this record here. And when you also factor in that professionals will be running in this race, the likes of Elise Cranny, who's a 30 flat 10,000 meter runner, and of course, Elisa Monson, who's a cross country 3,000, 5,000, one mile absolute stud of an athlete, you've got a very prime opportunity for Caitlin Tui to make history once again. And I think the main thing that I want to touch on here is that if she can get this collegiate record, she is making a bid to become arguably the greatest collegiate female runner in distance history. She's got an incredible personal record in the 1500. She's going after the NCAA record in the 3000. She has a 15-15 indoor personal record for the 5000, which is also in the top 10 of all time. And when you look at her combination, all of her personal records lined up on one screen, you realize that she is extremely deep when it comes to her strength, her speed, her racing tactics, her abilities while running. She's just an incredibly deep athlete, and I think it makes sense that she's becoming one of the greatest ever. She's put together a few really good years, but she finally put together that absolute stud of a year in 2022 for cross country, and she's bringing that momentum into this year's indoor track and field campaign. So keep your eyes on this race in particular. If you're a fan of Caitlin Tui, and even if you're not, this is a very big opportunity for her. So anyways, this weekend is going to be very exciting. There's a lot of great matchups to watch. Definitely keep your eyes on this year's Milrose Games and the Women's 3000. And that's about it. See ya.